Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm just going to be doing some painting here today. I've got my paint all set up. Uh, I'm not going to be painting a lot, so I'm not going to fool with the fluid beds. Uh, we've got, uh, we're going to be painting these uh, 1 32nd ounce axe head jigs. Uh, I got some of them in. Uh, actually got them in yesterday uh, of course I've got my forceps and I've got a little paint brush in case I want to dust some different colors in there and I keep me several pieces of this uh, 40 pound test line in case I get any paint in the eye of the jig I, I just take this and get it out you can use the bodkin or whatever you want to use but it seems like this works better for me <clears throat> but I've got uh, I'm going to be using my heat gun on low, uh, so hopefully it won't be won't be as noisy. And uh, you don't really need uh, doesn't take much to heat these little one thirty second ounce jigs up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'd say I've got it on low. Uh, it doesn't take much to beat these little fibers up. I dip it and I put it back under the heat. Heat gun for just a minute. There we go, that's the peak. I like to hold them by the hook. Uh, you can you can put your forceps over the eye of the Eye of the hook. If you want to, I just I just like everything to be pink when I when I get done with it. I don't like that black around the eye of the jig. There's another pink. So let's do some different colors. Uh, do a few chartreuse. Under low heat, I I probably hold them four or five seconds. I guess something like that. Just the green chartreuse. If you knock these off good on the side of the paint can, uh, you shouldn't have a real problem getting uh, getting paint in the eye of your view. I mean, every now and then you will, but... You see that now, I've the dip. I've got to dip it good on one side, so we're going to... When you dip and try it twice like that, you will get some paint in the eye of the jig. So I, just, I just put my 40 pound test line through there and cleans it out good. <clears throat> it's really simple, it's a lot of fun if you want to mix colors up. This is the first of the axe head jigs that I've done. I'm just going to do a few of each color. Yeah. I'm going to do one here and just dust it with a little black. Tip it in there. Get my paint brush. Hold it under the heat for just a second. And of course, we've got on that one. Now 
I'm gonna do some green pumpkin. There's one of the green pumpkin. that black paint off of my brush. Super easy to do. I'm just holding them under heat for, I don't know, four or five seconds on low heat. Saves a lot of money. Uh, painting your own. There's the yellow chartreuse. Just got, <clears throat> I've just got a little rack here on the wall I hang them up on and let them dry and get them painted. Do a couple more here. We'll do another black one. Hold it back under the heat gun for just a few seconds just to smooth everything out good. There we go guys, not not anything to this. It's very simple. A lot of fun though, painting your own uh, painting your own jig heads. Uh, the paint, uh, I get my paint. Well, I have ordered it from Barlow's, but shipping's a little high. I usually buy mine up here at Bass Pro. I've got one about 30 minutes from the house. Uh, it's, uh, I don't remember if it's $8.95 or $9.95, but uh, but not too bad. Uh, I've got I've got a bunch of different colors here I use, but uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, you may I'm sure you've seen it before, but uh, I just thought I'd paint up a few of these axe head jigs and go ahead and record it while I was doing it. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching the videos. If you liked it, just take a second there and hit that like and subscribe. We'll catch y'all next time.